What's going on everybody, it is Alex from Everything for iPod, and today I have a review of the Drobo 5D. If you've never heard of a Drobo, it is basically a hard drive on steroids. They have an insane amount of hard drive storage space, and Drobos also make it pretty much impossible to lose any files due to hard drive failures. When you first get your Drobo and take off the front magnetic panel, you will find 5 empty slots for 5 and a quarter inch hard drives. You can load the Drobo 5D up with anywhere from 2 to 5 hard drives depending on how much storage you need, and the best part is you can mix and match brands as well as capacities. Loading a hard drive is really simple, all you have to do is hold the gray tab back and slide the hard drive into any available slot. On the rear of the device you have two Thunderbolt ports which are compatible with daisy chaining, a Kensington lock slot, super speed USB 3.0 which is also backwards compatible with USB 2.0, your power connector, a power switch, as well as a pretty massive fan. Once you plug the Drobo 5D into a computer, all of the lights will start to appear, and you also need to install the Drobo Dashboard application onto your computer. The Drobo Dashboard is available for Windows and Mac, and it is the application that will allow you to change all of the settings on your Drobo, check the status of all the hard drives, update your firmware, as well as check the capacity remaining on the device. The interface on the dashboard is very clean and very easy to look at. As you can see, I'm looking at my capacity right now. I don't have a lot used, but it does show you very easily how much you have left. In volumes, you can check out your partitions. In tools, you can turn blink lights on, which will blink all the lights on the front of your Drobo in case you have more than one and you need to identify it. You can also shut it down as well as format it. In the Drobo settings, you can put, turn on a feature called dual disk redundancy, which will allow for two drive failures instead of one. You'll get less storage space but more protection. You can also rename the Drobo as well as choose to spin the drives down after a certain amount of time, which will, which will save energy and make it a little bit quieter. And also a really cool feature is that you can dim the lights. So maybe it's in your bedroom and at night the lights are way too bright. You can dim them all the way down and it won't be lighting up the whole room. Outside of the dashboard, the Drobo works just like any other hard drive. You can view all your files just as you would as a normal hard drive on your computer, and you can really just drag and drop files, use it just as you normally would use your regular computer. The only thing that did bother me was down at the bottom here, you can see that it does say my capacity remaining is 17 terabytes, which is actually false. It always says the maximum storage space that is allowed on the Drobo. You do have to go into the Drobo dashboard to check your storage space. A little bit annoying, but I don't really know what can be done about that. Like I said earlier, the main feature of the Drobo is that it can withstand drive failures without losing any data. Now if you're storing documents, pictures, really anything that you don't want to lose, your entire iTunes library, you want to make sure you have that backed up. And if you have it backed up on a regular hard drive, then if that hard drive fails, that's it, you've lost it all. So that's where the Drobo comes in. As you can see, I just ripped one of the drives out to simulate a drive failure. Now, even though that drive did have some data on it, it is completely fine. All the other drives are rebuilding. They are flashing green and yellow, and you can look at the inside panel to see what all the lights mean if you are unsure. But basically, it'll start rebuilding the entire system, and it will be able to hold all the files on just those remaining hard drives. Now, it is not asking me to put a new one in because I have enough storage space to just keep it on the remaining four. However, if you have less hard drives or a really full inventory of files, it will ask you, using that light that is now in that empty slot, it will ask you to put another drive in there. If you've ever experienced a drive failure before and lost a lot of information, you know that it really sucks. The 5D makes it really easy to handle files, you never have to worry about losing anything, and it really makes it a lot safer to store your files. There's also a feature that will add some speed to your Drobo called the MSATA SSD Accelerator. On the bottom of the unit, you will find a small access store which has an MSATA port in it. Standard 5 and a quarter inch hard drives give you a good amount of storage for the price, but they aren't the fastest things in the world. So to speed up your transfers, you can put an MSATA SSD in the bottom. It will help with the performance of your Drobo, and it is optional if you don't want to use it. With really short transfers, I really didn't see an increase in performance using the MSATA SSD, but in long transfers and with really big files, you definitely could tell a difference. A Drobo is definitely worth purchasing for storing files for two main reasons. 
Number one, it is extremely hard to lose any files. On a regular hard drive, if you have a hard drive failure, you lose all your files. On this, you have a hard drive failure, you're still good, you don't lose any files, and if you have dual disk redundancy enabled, you can have two drive failures at the same time and still not lose any data. And the second reason a Drobo is definitely worth buying is because you can upgrade it at any time. Let's say when you first buy it, you throw two 500 gig hard drives in. When you run out of storage space on that, you can keep adding drives into the bays until you're completely full. And once you run out of storage space there, you can take out some of your lower capacity drives and throw in even bigger drives into those spaces. So let's say you have a 500 gig hard drive in there, you can take that out, put in a three terabyte hard drive, and you're good to go. You really cannot run out of space for a long time when using a Drobo. The Drobo 5D can get a bit expensive once you're all finished setting it up because none of the hard drives are included. With that being said, you can't really find the protection that the Drobo offers in any other device and the amount of storage you can get in the Drobo is insane if you fill up all of the hard drive bays with big hard drives. The Drobo 5D is really aimed at professionals as it has five hard drive bays and offers really great performance when it comes to transfers. If you like the idea of backing up all of your files using a Drobo, but maybe you don't like this exact model I have here, you can check out Drobo's website because they offer different Drobo models coming in at different price points, different sizes, they have different features, different connectivity options, and all the Drobos also do have different amounts of drive bays. Also on Drobo's website and down in the description will be the link to this page where you can check out the capacity calculator, see exactly how much storage space you will have putting in different drive bay amounts because if you put in two terabytes worth of hard drive space, you're not going to have two terabytes worth of storage because it needs to back up all the files. I would absolutely much rather back up all of my important files on a Drobo rather than this, which is just a standard hard drive because this is prone to a drive failure at any time. At the same time, if you do go get a Drobo, I would still recommend keeping a standard hard drive around, keeping your most important files on it, and keeping it on a different location as your Drobo. In case your house gets broken into or catches fire and you lose your Drobo, you still have an off-site backup somewhere else. Overall, the Drobo 5D, as well as any of the other Drobo products, are fantastic. In my opinion, it is one of the best things you can get to go along with your computer. If you're looking for something to back up on, this is definitely the best option out there as it is extremely hard to lose any of your files. If you have multiple computers to back up at home or work, the Drobo is a great option because of the amount of storage capacity you can have on it. If you're backing up just one computer onto the Drobo, it may be a little bit pricey, but if you have multiple computers backing up onto the Drobo, it is really cost effective and trust me, it is worth every penny you pay. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thanks and I will catch you in my next video.